The instrument is MacDeck's virtual instrumentation toolbox that allows you to quickly and easily set up communication between hardware and your device. It also allows you to send but also receive data from the device and display it using visual aids instead of pure numbers and code. As you can see, the Virtual Toolbox sends and receives data in real time and is also a no-code solution as you can set up all these GUIs, images and instrumentation all without writing code. However, you can connect the instrument to a MatDeck document to further use MatDeck features. One clear advantage of being able to connect the instrument to a MatDeck document is the fact that you can have text which automatically tells the user what each instrument does and what each instrument state means. This means that it can be easily transferred between users without needing to be explained every single time a new person logs on and views the virtual instrumentation panel. As well as text, with the MatDeck document, you can import and export the channels which send the data to write them to a database, a TXT file, or more. You can also use this to write checks and also see what is going on in the system in real time, as the channels will then send that information back to the virtual instrumentation panel. While the instrument is a no-code toolbox, it may require some code for more complex scenarios. As you can see here, we have added code in the MatDeck document. This code only checks the data being sent through the channels to see if it is too high, too low, or if it is normal. As you can see, we have a while loop here, which ensures that all of this is running, but only when the system itself is on. And from there, we have several if and else statements, which allow the logic to be presented into the code and therefore straight into the instrument. This code gets the data from the channels by importing and exporting the channels, which can be done by using these boxes. The definitions are above are solely for the purpose of importing the data to one of these variables. And here, once we import them and go through the checks, we can then export the data using this. Importing and exporting these channels is also once again done without any code, but rather by using the MatDeck toolboxes and inserting them into the MatDeck document. Now, when we look back to the Virtuament panel, this whole panel and all its virtual instrumentation and icons have all been generated by MatDeck and not a single line of code is needed. However, for those simple checks and so on, only this amount of code was needed. And again, most of it is incredibly simplistic. You can use the hundreds of functions embedded in the MatDeck document to import the channels and their data and use them for things such as artificial intelligence, big data, digital signal processing, and even more things than that. Not only can you utilize these functions, you can also utilize the toolboxes that come with MatDeck. You can utilize these ones, or you can utilize the forms, which are toolboxes which are allowed to be embedded into the MatDeck document. However, the clear and unique advantage of using MatDeck and Virtuament is in fact how easy it is to set up and use. All you need to do is first open a new MatDeck document to start from scratch. And then from there, if we want to connect it to a hardware or a device, all we need to do is insert a configuration form. For example, the ISP DAS configuration form. From there, we simply need to tick the device information before we are able to search for it. Since we are using TCP, we're also going to have to enter the device name. And from there, all you need to do is click search device for the device to be found. Then, once the search is finished, we can select which device we would like to connect. For this one, it is the TCP one, and now all we need to do is wait for the form to load. Now all we need to do is choose which inputs and outputs we would like to export. For example, AI0. And then all we need to do is select export AI0. And then once we click set, you can see the channel has been exported and can be now used with Virtuman or even the SCADA. We can export more inputs or outputs in a matter of seconds. Once again, we choose which input or output, and then from there, all we need to do is select the export option and then we click set to export the channel. Once again, all this is done in a matter of seconds and with no code, only clicking. Now all we need to do is enable these channels and open the instrument. Since these channels are receiving information, we need to use instrumentation which will be able to display this information. For example, digit meters. And as you can see, all you need to do is click on which instrument you'd like to insert and from there, the instrument will be inserted. Now, to access these channels, all we need to do is right-click on which instrument we would like to change. From there, we need to click Properties and go to Display. As you can see, there are the two channels which we exported from the device form. Then we just need to select what channel we would like to link it to, click the Select button, and from there, once we apply the changes, 
the instrument will read the information. The same goes for the other instrument. All you need to do is go properties, display, the other channel we would like to link, select, and then apply. Now you can see how in a matter of seconds, we have been able to connect to the device, export the readings as a channel to be used with MatDeck, and then from there, we've enabled them to channels and linked them to two instruments with the instrument. This has all been done without typing a single line of code and in a matter of seconds, showing how simple it is to use. This means that anyone can connect to a device and use Virtuament to either send or receive data or without not having any experience in coding or even in the field. Once again, Virtuman works in real time and is connected to the MatDeck document, so you can utilize other no-code toolboxes and solutions. For example, in the data ribbon, we can see how we can export and import the channels, but we can also export and import information from the channels to an Excel file or even a database, all once again without needing to write any code. Finally, the level of customization in Virtuman is incredible and allows you to create a unique and perfect fit for your virtual instrumentation. All these virtual instruments can be easily customized in seconds by right-clicking them and then selecting properties. From there, you can customize every single aspect of the virtual instrument, from the frame, to the scale, to the needle, and even the button background. And then once you're finished, all you need to do is click apply and okay. This level of customization is offered for every single instrument available in the instrument.